in terms of the London taxi uh, community, uh, we have uh, just under 3,700 taxis that have installed our equipment since we started rolling this out just over a year ago. Uh, and we'd look to have uh, at least uh, five and a half thousand taxis live by the time the, uh, the Olympic flame uh, gets lit. So the, uh, the, the payment system in the taxis is, is not unlike a, a mainstream retailer. In fact, you know, I like to call it a, a supermarket on wheels um, because the robustness of the solution is absolutely paramount to what we need to do, as well as also providing the functions and features that are required for this type of vehicle. A taxi is a moving vehicle when you get to a destination. If the system does not work, um, you're in trouble because it will cause, uh, cause a problem with the driver who just wants to get paid. So we've had to build in additional robustness uh, into an off offline processing requirements as well to make sure that we do that. Um, in terms of how the system actually works and functions, uh, what happens is everything is integrated to the meter. So our system uh, has a, a driver terminal in the front which communicates with the meter that enables the driver to log on in the morning to identify himself to that particular vehicle. Um, when you have one of our payment systems installed in a cab, because there are many, many fleet cabs in London which the drivers don't own, that enables you to be able to rent any one of those cabs and just log on in the morning. And you log on by using your six, five or six digit um, badge number that is around your neck when you, when you get the knowledge as a taxi driver. So once you're logged on to the system, uh, you will then pick up a fare. When you pick up the fare, the automatic thing that you will do is that you will put the for hire light off and you will press the meter and it will give you the automatic uh, two pound, two pounds 40 uh, starting tariff. Once that happens, the whole system has then sprung into life and the, the media screen will be, will be playing uh, and that will deliver news, content, weather, sport updates on a daily basis and sometimes throughout the day there'll be periodic updates to the screen. And what will happen is at the end of the journey when the driver then initiates the meter again, it will then push through the data from the meter. So if the fare is 15 pounds, or say it was 13 pounds, 13 pounds would come through to the pin pad, which is situated in the rear of the taxi. Uh, and then it will then enable you to either still pay the cash method as you've done before, if you would like to pay cash, or at that point, you can choose or adopt to pay by card. We obviously have uh, architected the solution so it accepts all the major uh, card brands uh, in uh, debit, credit, Magstripe and obviously EMV and Chip. Every single one of our taxes, it was one of our, uh, our major points when we first started this, was to have contactless adoption in every single taxi. So from that point of view, we have 3,700 3, taxis live and we'll be going a lot bigger. Um, the other major decision that we made was to go with our latest technology, which is our new VX820 product, which is obviously colour, touch, but more importantly, gives us the ability to accept mobile phones uh, as a payment method as well. Um, so once we start getting more of the mobile phone payment types out there, we'll, we'll be accepting the mobile phone uh, NFC method as well. Uh, the installation, uh, you're looking at more like an hour and a quarter for, for an installation. The aim is to, to get the driver in and out with as least fuss as possible um, so that we can get them back on the road because uh, the adage of time is money is, is no more important than in, in this trade. Um, I think the, the, uh, the Olympics has been an, a massive contributor to, to the uptake of the system. Um, what you have to remember is that the, the taxi trade is one of those last bastions of cash in our society. I, I know pretty much everybody that, that lives in London or lives around London has always found that they would like to pay by card in a, in, in a cab. So the Olympics has certainly been a massive driver um, and moving from where we are now at 3,700 taxis, we do believe that we are going to um, increase that, as I say, over and above five and a half, maybe 6,000 taxis before that, uh, that, that the opening bell, so to speak, uh, for, the, for the Olympics. Um, there's numerous benefits actually for the driver. Um, th there's a number of key things and, and that's as we're becoming more and more of a, a connected uh, London. One of the key things that's happening now is that there is uh, CCTV all over London and many, many drivers are getting a lot more uh, PCN notices or, or parking tickets um, from pulling up and dropping passengers off on double yellow lines um, or having to stop at an ATM for two or three minutes. So by keeping the, the vehicles moving as quickly as possible, they've, they've massively reduced the number of ATM stops and therefore the number of PCN notices.